Hi guys, I am your baby-faced host for today. Um, how, do I, how do I make my intro work? Hi guys, I'm Zach from Nerdworks Media. Here today with uh, a baby face as your host. Uh, isn't that lovely? Uh, I'm sorry if there's a little bit more noise than usual, but today is exceptionally hot, so I have both doors open actually. Uh, but I'm going to just try to talk over it, and this is one of the Friday videos, meaning that there's lots of memes on screen now. Anyway, what are we doing today? Why am I sitting in my car and not doing something? Well, very good point. In today's video, we're going to be talking about um, some good practical but fun to drive kind of budget cars not necessarily first cars maybe first project cars plus minus and you'll see pricing is also really weird i haven't really based on anything it's kind of just kind of what came to mind there were a lot of kinds in that sentence first up one of the ones that i really 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 want to mention uh because i feel like it fits the 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 budget it fits the practicality and it fits the sporty feel is a Suzuki Swift Sport. Obviously the newer shape is a lot of money, but the old shape you can actually pick up for a pretty good bargain. And a lot of people who own them kind of just daily drove them. They might have a few miles on them. That's like the only problem I can think of. But otherwise they probably haven't been abused so they you could drive them really like they'll be fun cars to still drive around and stuff. Also, do want to just side mention, Suzuki Swift Sports give these boys, MX-5s, a run for their money at autocross slash gymkhana events. <laughs> Those things can move. They're fast, okay? Like, don't doubt them. I'm looking straight at the camera right now. Usually I look at the screen. I'm looking straight at the camera because I'm dead serious about this. They can give you a run for your money. If you're a good driver, they can be fast. Past the sport, if we just go to like a normal uh, base spec or like the mid spec, so what my girlfriend has, that's also not half bad. Obviously not as sporty or as fun, but uh, as far as I'm aware, it's the same chassis. So if you really wanted to, you could get a base model and then just kind of upgrade the suspension. Fine, you won't have as much powerful engine, but there's an ant on my door crawling around. This upsets me deeply. And they're still really fun to drive. My girlfriend's car, which is bone dead stock is exceptionally fun to drive acceleration all 50 horsepower this car is very slow and i admittedly have to make it more entertaining by yelling and stuff it's basically what i used to do in my car when it was still stock it's a little bit slow on the highway and doing straight line stuff but just doing momentum driving where you're just like flicking through corners that is it's so much fun i love that car Next up on the list is Subaru WRXs slash STIs. Now, hold on. Hold your comments. I can see you typing away down there in the comment section. I can see you. Come back here. Yeah, thank you. I, I know it's expensive um, because maintenance issues and blown head gaskets. Just hear me out for a second. <laughs> As a project car, so let's take it that you already have a daily driver, Suzuki Swift Sport. As a project car, but that is still practical and that maybe when it does work, you could use it as a daily driver. I think a Subaru WRX STI would be pretty damn fun. I considered them myself, but then I also looked at the fact that they aren't the most reliable things on the planet. Don't get me wrong, I know all cars can be more reliable if you do proper maintenance on them. Even rotaries, and that's a thing, they will be more reliable. My meaning is... They're just, it's a thing, okay? Okay. And you don't know what the previous owner did. Getting horror flashbacks to previous owner's mishaps on my car. Anyway, next up, we have the Honda Civic, which I really like a little old school Honda Civic. Uh, I think they call them the Ballards here or something like that, which is the sedan version. We got those more common, but it's basically a Civic, just a sedan version. Not a hatch. Those are really fun. I prefer the hatch shape for a Civic. I think that's just been implanted from social media though. But anyway, so Civics are fun. And then on top of that, if you wanted basically the same engine and basically the same drivetrain, but on a more sportier, cooler looking body, and then you're willing to sacrifice space of back seats for that, 
there's the Honda Preludes, which still have back seats, mind you, but they're just not as comfortable, I want to say, as what a Civic or a Bolo, I, I don't know what they're called, would be. Also though, I prefer a Prelude because they look a little bit more sporty, and again, if we're talking about trying to make something that's a little bit practical, but also mainly on the sporty fun side, the Prelude is definitely on that side. Moving on, uh, a Mazda MX-6 is also another shout. It's a V6 in front, which is a bit heavy, and then it's also front-wheel drive. It's not the best, but I mean, if you're looking for just the something cheap, kind of fun, kind of sporty, it's definitely something to consider. Speaking of Mazdas, we all know where this video was going anyway. Yes, Miatas. You sacrifice a lot of the practicality then, but you do make up for it in the more sportsy feel. Miatas, I personally feel my Miata is reasonably practical. Uh, I obviously can't take... I was going to say I can't take my friends anyway, but to be honest with you, I have no friends. So... Um, excuse me, what the actual fuck? So, my point being... <laughs> that I think Miatas are damn practical. They're reasonably reliable considering how old they are. Next up is one that I think people sleep on hardcore, which is a Nissan Skyline GTX. I had to double check my list here. I don't know what you want to call them. I don't know if they even had an R version then. It would have been like, I guess, like the R30 or R31 shape. But those are damn cool. Like I've seen modified versions of those. I'm gonna wait for the wind. So firstly, there are actually fancy versions from the factory. Like, the, I know there is a turbo version from the factory. Speaking of Nissans, let's talk about Datsuns. So we've got the Datsun 280Z or the 300Z Z31. You can pick up those reasonably cheap, actually, surprisingly enough. They're like baller. You got like baller class rolling down the streets and the super long-nosed boy you look like you're in an old school hot rod, but it's JDM. The only issue is because of how old they are, I mean they're older than my Miata, um, they, you might not be able to find parts for them, and I don't know about reliability. I know that they do use still like carburetors instead of fuel injection, which is supposed to be easier to work on, but no comment, I can't co I'm too young for this, I can't comment. Going completely off to the side here, uh, this is also completely slept on, but the Hyundai Tiburons. You can get like really nice little Hyundai Tiburons for like dirt cheap. It's a little four banger, front wheel drive, but it is a two door sports coupe kind of setup. Let's move on to some Euro stuff because maybe some of you guys would like some Euro, or maybe you want variety in your car choices. You could technically go look at some of the older BMW E30s, E36s, and E46s. I don't know enough about the cars to really comment. My mom and dad both had E46s. My dad had a 330. If there's one thing that I do remember about that car, it was pretty damn quick and it handled like a dream. And it also was super duper comfortable. They all come with inline sixes as far as I believe. So that's really nice. They're all rear wheel drive as far as I believe. They're basically like sporty coupe. My only concern with them is I know German cars tend to be expensive when you try to replace parts. That's my only concern. But I mean, if you're looking at a Subaru, but you want something that's rear wheel drive and maybe has two doors, but the same kind of space for the back seats. Onto another generic German car that a lot of people use as their project cars, VW Beetles. Okay, this is less about handling, uh, but they would still be pretty fun cars to drive, I'm sure. I do know there's a lot of modifications that you can do to make them sporty. I know guys that have rotary swapped them. So you can make them pretty fun cars to drive and stuff. I would recommend it to be a project car though. Next up for Euro cars, and this one's going to speak to a lot of guys, is Classic Mini Coopers. You can pick up a Classic Mini Cooper for pretty damn cheap. Admittedly, it's probably going to have a lot of rust issues. And that is a problem. My point being is you can still build them up to be pretty fun cars. The final proper one that I have on this list is a Ford Fiesta. You can pick up Ford Fiesta STs for reasonably cheap. They're a little bit more expensive than a Swift Sport, which I'd actually recommend over it. But you can get a Fiesta ST for reasonably damn cheap. They handle pretty damn well. The benefit of a Ford Fiesta is it's the same kind of story as the Swift and Swift Sport. 
you don't necessarily need the sport to have fun. The normal Fiestas also drive pretty damn fun. It's basically the same chassis with slightly more comfort orientated suspension. So it's a little bit more swaggy, but it's still got reasonably good suspension. And with that, uh, I'm going to end the video there. There are obviously a lot more cars that I didn't mention in this video. I'm sure there's some cheaper Alphas or Fiat's or something that you could look at. Uh, again, then it's the reliability comes out, but then the sportsy and practicality is still there. There's a lot of different cars that I could have mentioned in this video, I'm sure. Uh, and if you guys have any thoughts that I've, or any cars that I've left out, please let me know. Uh, I wish I could English. If you guys know of any cars that I didn't mention in this video that you think do belong on this list, I think let me know and then we can uh, I'll maybe make another video I'm kind of tempted to make a tier list video although that's so generic I kind of want to do it <laughs> so until then guys uh cheers <laughs>